Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to define your audience within Snapchat ads. We're gonna go through every single possible uh, different interest that you can target within Snapchat ads. And if you also wanna know how to upload creatives, how to test different creatives, I actually have a video for that. I'll leave that the link in the description. And also this video is part of a bigger training that I did for Snapchat ads. I'll also leave that link in the description. But I hope you watch this video and I hope you understand how to target people within Snapchat ads manager. So let's go ahead and get right into it. As you can see here, it's not like Facebook ads where you can essentially type in a topic and it will give you a uh, you know, specific thing that you can target. Rather, what you can do is you can go ahead and click on let's say lifestyles and over here you can see um, you have different options that you can target now I love Facebook because Facebook actually has way more in-depth detail targeting where in snapchat ads it's very broad so as you can see here it's in alphabetical order we can target people based on adventure seekers uh, advocate and activists arts and culture automotive uh, beach goers so on and so forth so let's go ahead and scroll down and see what else we have we have a fashion and lifestyle guru. So if you are in the fashion space selling any types of apparel, this might be a good option you can go ahead and target. Um, here's something interesting. So let's say you are in the fitness niche. You can go ahead and click on this drop down menu and you have uh, specific things that are related to fitness. So such as cycling, such as running or such as yoga. Or you can just click on this button and it will target um, all of these different options right here. So fitness enthusiasts as a whole. But as you can see here, let's say you are selling yoga mats, for example. This would definitely be a great option to go ahead and target, given that it is targeting people that are yoga enthusiasts. Now, let's go ahead and see what other options we have. We have foodies. So as you can see here, you can target people that are foodies as a whole, or you can target people that like specific types of foods, such as people that are burger lovers, candy and sweet lovers, coffee lovers, cooking enthusiasts, energy drink consumers, fashion food junkies, we got pizza lovers, soft drink consumers, and then vegan and foodies. So you can imagine, let's say uh, you are Beyond Meat, right? Beyond Meat and you basically are selling a product that is tailored towards vegans. This would be a good option to target. Say your product is related to pizza lovers. Let's say you're selling, for example, a pizza slicer. This would be a good option to target. Now, one thing I need to tell you guys is that just because some of these topics are super relevant to the product that you're selling or the service that you're offering, I would highly recommend that you not only test that specific uh, interest, but you actually target the category as a whole. So for the example, let's say you're selling a vegan product. It would make sense to target foodies as a whole, meaning it's going to target all of these different options. You can test vegan and organic by itself, but I would recommend that you test the category as a whole because again, what we've realized with Snapchat ads is the broader you go, the better, uh, just because over time, Snapchat will actually know who your type of audience is. And if you're just targeting vegans and foodies, you might limit yourself to the amount of people that you can actually reach that would potentially be interested in your product. So again, I recommend that you test the whole category as a whole, but you do have options within specific categories. Now let's go ahead and just take a look at a few other things. And one thing I recommend you guys all do is go through all of these different detail targeting options you know, because you don't know what you don't know. So it makes sense for you to go through each one and see what are the possibilities that I can target within Snapchat ads? Just because you see here, let's say uh, coffee lovers or let's say cooking enthusiasts, doesn't mean that you should stop there. I recommend that you actually go through every single targeting option because you might find something that actually would be relevant to the product or service that you're actually selling. So as you can see here for gamers, we have all types of different uh, categories within gamers. We have uh, green living enthusiasts, high schoolers, hipsters, uh, home decor, uh, invest investors and entrepreneurs. So again, let's say you are selling a, um, a course, right? A course for entrepreneurs, teaching them how to start their own social media marketing agency. This would probably be a good option to target. As you can see here, we have meme watchers. So again, within each category, you have many other options. You can even target people based on the consoles and PCs that they use, right? Um, let's go ahead and see what other options we have. So over here we have men's lifestyle. So again, if you are selling apparel that's tailored towards men, this would be a good option to target. Um, here we have music fans. You can target people based on the types of music uh, that they like. So as you can see here, country music, uh, concert and festival uh, goers. You can target people based on Latin, pop music, indie, hip hop. So as you can see here, rock, soul, Airbnb, whole different types of 
different detail targeting that we can target within music. And then we have news watchers. So if we take a look at news watchers, we have people that are interested in political news, celebrity news, as well as business news. Um, and then if we go down here to shoppers, let's see what we got. So we have people that are interested in different types of shoppers. So you can think of this category right here as uh, within Facebook, we have an option that's engaged shoppers. So what's cool about this, you guys, is that this is basically targeting people that are engaged shoppers, people that are actually likely to purchase from an ad or purchase online as a whole. But what's interesting with Snapchat ads is that you can target people who are engaged shoppers for a specific type of interest. So for example, as you can see here, you can target people that love luxury, right? People that are luxury shoppers. You can target people that are jewelry and watch shoppers, people that are interested in discount and thrift right? People that are department store shoppers or people that are cosmetic shoppers. So you can imagine if you're a cosmetic brand, this would be a good option because essentially what you're doing is you're telling Snapchat, I want you to show my ad to people that are actually cosmetic shoppers, people that are likely to purchase uh, on Snapchat or on the internet as a whole that are interested in cosmetic. Because as you guys should know by now, not every per not everybody purchases it online. And the people that do purchase online, these platforms such as Facebook and Snapchat, they understand that. And what's cool is that you can target them based on these specific types of things that they are interested in. Now, this is really cool. I highly recommend that if you're selling anything, you go through this list and make sure that you are seeing if there's anything relevant to you. And um, coming down towards the end, we have sports fans. So as you can see here, we can target people based on specific types of sports that they may like. We also can target people that are interested in travel, that are basically travel enthusiasts. As you can see here, frequent hotel guests, frequent flyers, frequent international flyers, theme park visitors. Um, so that's really interesting. You can target people based on that. And then over here, you guys, if you are selling again a fitness product or if you have a fitness program um, here, I would recommend that you test these two options as well, because as you can see here, this is wealth and health, uh, wealth and healthy lifestyle. And then this is women's lifestyle. So again, this would fall under that same category that we just spoke about, which is uh, the fitness niche. For the sake of this video, let's just go ahead and choose one detailed targeting option. I'm glad that I actually spent time to go through this, you guys. I recommend that you still go through this yourself. That way you know what is available to you. But for the sake of this video, we'll just go ahead and click on fitness enthusiast. And that right there is going to identify the actual audience that we wanna go ahead and target. Um, so let's go ahead and move forward. As you can see here, you can go ahead and choose another option. So you can say, I wanna target people that are fitness enthusiasts. And I want to target people that say that are gamers. So now we have, you know, more than one option. And again, if you want to keep adding options, you would go ahead and choose another option. And this is essentially think of it as stacking different audiences, just like how in Facebook, you can stack different audiences. Um, this is exactly what you would do. Now, you probably are wondering, well, do I test each audience by itself or should I stack audiences? And the answer is test it test all of that, right? So you could have an ad set that's just testing fitness enthusiasts, and then an ad set that's testing fitness and gamers, and then another ad set that's testing, let's say, health and wellness. And then you could have another ad set that's testing maybe two, right? Or even three audiences together. So I highly recommend you test because you're not going to know what's working until you actually go ahead and test it. So I hope that answers the question as to should I test each one separately or should I test them together? The answer is test it all separately as well as together. Now we'll go ahead and scroll down. And as you can see here, here you have the option to expand audience automatically. So by default, it has it clicked. Depending on where you are in your funnel, um, you can go ahead and keep it on or you can go ahead and keep it off. If you keep it on, it's basically what Snapchat is basically going to do is let's say you targeted people that are uh, yoga enthusiasts, right? If you have this button clicked, it's gonna also target people that are interested in fitness as a whole. But if you don't have it clicked, it's just going to target people that are interested in that specific interest, which in this example would be yoga, right? So I hope this makes sense as to what this button is. If you click it, it's going to target people that are outside of that specific interest. Let's say in this case, yoga, it'll target all fitness people. But if you unclick it, it's going to target people that are just interested in yoga itself. So we'll go ahead and keep this on because we've seen for the most part that we want to expand it and keep it a little bit more broad. That way Snapchat can provide us the best results possible. All right, you guys, and that is basically how you can target people within Snapchat ads. I hope that video was helpful. Again, if you want to watch a video on how to actually create different creatives and how to test different creatives, I recorded a video. That link will be in the description. And if you want to see the full video, Snapchat ads from A to Z free course that I have here on YouTube, that link will also be in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.